No, if you're gonna eat like an idol, you have to use two hands. Oh my god. Oh, oh. like addicting. I get it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I've been wanting to do this video for so long and I am so excited you don't even know. So if you guys don't follow my vlog channel or listen to my podcast or follow me on TikTok or follow me on Instagram, which you should if you don't, then you wouldn't know that I am a huge fan of Twice therefore making me a once. And if you don't know what Twice is, they are a nine member girl K-pop group. They make incredible music. They have the best personalities and we're eating like them for a week. All of the girls have done so much press in the past like year or so talking about all their favorite snacks, American snacks, Korean snacks, foods, things like that. They're definitely foodies like me. So this is gonna be fun. And we pulled a bunch of that information and we're gonna eat like them this week. Every morning I'm going to get a text of what I am eating for the day and which members I'm gonna be eating like, trying their favorite snacks, their favorite foods, foods and I'm just excited where the day takes us. Strap in and let's get started. All right, grabbing stuff for today and then some stuff for the rest of the week. Ollie is here. Monch. Monch. We're in the banchan section and looking for Jung Young's favorite, which I've never tried before and I'm a little nervous by. I don't even know if they're gonna have it to be honest. This is the twice video. Yes, this I'm is the twice excited. video. <laughs> These little shrimpies are so cute and little. Okay, couldn't find one thing that I was looking for, but I found something that I think might even be better. So stay tuned for that. Ugh, must not buy more ramen, but want more ramen. I lost Ollie, but they're playing black. Think. I'm so sorry. I can't hold back. They just have such fun ones. They've got a jumpong ramen, bulgogi alfredo, tangaluchini. Like, I'm sorry. I have to try it. Like, what is this? Come on, Rose. We're in the snack aisle. We have a lot to grab. I found the first one. I've never even heard of these before. I've had them. Banana snacks. <laughs> Are they good? Yeah. Banana? Banana. <gasps> pushu, pushu, we found it! Flavor wise, we've got grilled chicken. Oh my God, I love a grilled ramen chicken. snack. Spicy rice cake, barbecue or bulgogi. I think I'm gonna go spicy rice cake and grilled chicken. My favorite thing. There she is, rice cakes. <gasps> Giant Sweet. rice cakes, yes. Okay guys, I think we got everything we needed. Hey girls. Wait, I want this. She looks so good. Wait, look at the one behind it. <gasps> All right guys, snacks acquired. We are beginning with the banana kick. I don't know if these are crackers, banana snack. Like this a is a keto puff. giant a banana. And a Cheeto Puff. Chaeyoung said that these are one of her favorite snacks. I'm hoping I like it because I have about a billion of them now. Oh my God. You know what it smells like? It smells like the banana Pocky, mm. like that sweet artificial banana smell, but also like kind of corny. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that crunch. Oh my God. These are like addicting. I get it. And they're really light and airy. It smells more like banana than it tastes like banana. After it dissolves in your mouth, the sugar is left on your molars. Oh my God, these are actually so good. I'd rate these, honestly. I'm gonna give it a nine and a half. They're perfect for what they are. I also like air snacks because you can just eat the entire bag. Wow. If we were discussing, I think I would be the visual. I'd be the leader, I think. Oh, she would be the leader, honey. <laughs> these were a win. I would have never grabbed these at the store. Honestly, because like artificial banana, like I think of like a Laffy Taffy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't always hit. This is like a candy Cheeto. Oh my Oh my God. Hi guys, it is now 9.26 p.m. I am craving a late night snack and I figured now would be the best time to eat our next Twice members favorite snack. So this one comes from Tui, who is the maknae of the group or the baby or the youngest. And she likes kimbap, which whenever my mom would take me to the Korean grocery store growing up, we would always get a pack of this and eat it on the way home. And I still do that pretty much every time if I'm hungry. So I've had tons of variations of this before. If you guys have never heard of it, it's kind of it's like Korean sushi. It's gim, which is like seaweed on the outside. There's rice, and then on the inside, there's usually spinach, carrots, a pickled radish, egg, and then sometimes there's fish cake. This one has fish cake and bulgogi, which is beef. It looks like this. And honestly, there's just like a lot of delicious, flavorful things inside. Let's try it on its own. Mmm, it's crunchy. So obviously, this is a great snack on its own. So classic, so delicious. But if you guys have ever seen that viral video of Sana, then you know that we need to elevate this to the next level and make this cheesy kimbap. We're gonna take some shredded cheese. We've got light mozzarella here. I don't know. I just grabbed the first cheese I saw in the fridge. Lots of cheese loaded on. Also, I feel like Koreans love adding mozzarella cheese things because it goes so well with spicy. And now we burn. I don't think it's melted enough. Let's try that again. Kimbap cheese. How did Sana do it? Microwave. All right, we got it a little melty and now I'm gonna finish it lightly with the blowtorch. Oh yeah. Cheesy kimbap. Here is our finished product. One for you, one for me, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's hot. Oh. <gasps> 
<laughs> it's actually way better than I thought it was gonna be. Other than it being super hot and burning my mouth, that was the best bite of kimbap I've ever had in my life. Sana, you were onto something. See you guys tomorrow. I turned off the camera, but look what Cal just found in my bag. What is this? Try. <laughs> it's good, right? It's like unsettling at first. This should taste like cheese. I gave it a nine and a half out of 10. It's pretty good. It's good. See? Hi guys, it's Tuesday. Welcome to day two of Eating Like Twice for the week. Today we are doing sauna and we have Cal. Hello. One, two, three. Shy, shy, shy. Come on, babe, you gotta do the hands. <laughs> So in case you guys didn't know, Sana is obsessed with Takis. I feel like every interview she talks about how much she loves Takis. And also, I have the world's other favorite Taki lover here in the room today. It's a rolled tortilla chip, and then it's dusted in chili lime flavor. So today, we're gonna eat them. Cheers. Cheers. Delightful as always. Mmm, spicy, limey. Kind of like a light hint of sweetness, wouldn't you say, Cal? I just like the crunch. I also like that it's rolled up. I love when potato chips are all folded. Like, ooh, it's kind of spicy. They've got tons of other flavors, but when I think Takis, I always think Fuego. The lime really completes it. Mmm, it's so good. I guess I'm just gonna eat these and I'm eating like sauna for the day. Ooh, a rare flat <laughs> Taki. Not as good. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Welcome to day three, AKA Wednesday, of eating like twice for the week. And today, we have Sana's biggest fan. I'm wearing the shirt I wore to the Twice concert. Oh my God, insert footage here. This is crazy, Sana. Best concert I've ever seen in my life. Going into the Twice concert, who was your bias? Nyan. He loved Nyan. We all love Nyan, but I will say, I told him before going into the concert, I think you're gonna leave a Sana fan, and Sana. he loves Sana now. So today we're gonna be trying Belgian <gasps> waffles! These are for Dion and Sana. They particularly love waffles, and Twice's food trucks seem to always have these for the members. So I'm assuming if they go to like rehearsals or maybe like on shoot days, they have really good crafty and they have Belgian waffles there. These are just original. Let's throw these in the toaster. Shall we? Coffee for a mouse. All right, go. While we wait for our waffles to cook, we're gonna try Mina's favorite candy. These are sour Skittles, which I have not had a sour Skittle since I think I played soccer, which was in like 2005 maybe. I don't think I've ever had one. Ever? Yeah. We need to sit for this. All right, we got Skittles. They have a lot of like sour coating on the outside. I it's loved like these as a kid. And I would eat so many that like your tongue starts to like lose feeling and like uh -oh. itchiness. You're gonna go for orange. orange. I'm gonna go for superior, which is red. I'm gonna eat it like an idol. No, if you're gonna eat like an idol, you have to use two hands. Mm. Oh! They're pretty sour. Wow. I kinda like them. I never reached for Skittles, but they are so good. I can really taste a red dye five. Mmm, I love me some blue dye 40. Grape tastes like cough syrup, love it. Sour candy. What do you rate them? Like a seven or eight. Ooh, or I give them a seven and a half. So this toaster is iconic because it both steams and crisps at the same time. You can see it's like a little sauna in there. A little steam room. <gasps> sauna for sauna. All right. Oh, they look perfect. They smell amazing. Now we're gonna add some butter on top. I have here oat milk butter. If you guys haven't tried this and you're looking for a dairy-free butter, it's really good. And it's got like a nice salty bite and it's always soft, which makes it very nice for spreading. And with waffles, you wanna get into all those little crevices, you know? If you guys watched the Drunchies video, then you saw that I used up all the rest of my maple syrup and I'm gonna go buy some after this. But for now, because we don't have any, we're gonna do a drizzle of honey. It's like maple syrup's cousin. And then obviously we need whipped cream. Oh. 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 All right, here are our Belgian waffles. A little cheers. Cheers. Oh my God. How I miss you, miss. Ego. Miss Ego never misses. Pretty girls eat Egos. 10 out of 10. That yeah. was incredible. I'm really happy. I can move on with my day now. See you tomorrow. Amen. Wow. Hi guys, I'm back to film this video. I will say we've had a few days in between. If you don't watch my vlog channel, you should. And if you don't watch the vlog channel, then you won't know that I suffer from a concussion, which put a bit of a halt on this video, but I'm feeling better, I'm recovered, and I'm ready to eat like twice. Today we are eating like Momo and my personal bias in twice, Jung Yun, which I'm really excited about. First off, for Momo, we are going to have japchae, which is a very traditional side dish. If you go to like, do you like a spam? 
See, Momo loves it. If you go to Korean barbecue, you'll often get a side of these. They are usually like a sweet potato noodle or some sort of glass noodle with like a sesame, lots of vegetables, really good. We've got duck or rice cakes. Didn't specify how she likes to eat them. We're gonna make something with these later, but we've got rice cakes. And then she likes stir fried potatoes, which we are also going to make from scratch because I couldn't find from the store and I found a recipe. So let's get cooking. All right, before we cook, I'm hungry and I need lunch, so let's start with the pre-made stuff because I really need something in my stomach. We've got japchae. It looks like this. Honestly, it kind of always tastes the same to me. I'd say it's probably my least favorite side dish. My mom would always give it to me as a kid and I just like never loved it, probably because it's like on the healthier side. Let's try. Mmm, it's good. Still not my favorite. Next, something that is one of my favorite foods. We have rice cakes or duck. If you go to the Korean grocery store, you can buy them in the freezer section. They're fabulous. You just soak them before you use them to cook. But if you can get the fresh ones they made that day, get these because they're superior. If you didn't know, you can just eat them plain. They're delicious as is. You can't go wrong with the rice cake. If you can see here, they're extra squishy. Like these are from this morning. Mama knows what she's talking about. You can also eat them with a little bit of honey. I have hot honey here. Next level. That spiciness at the back of the throat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So satisfying. Okay, so I went to the store to find these. I couldn't find it, but I did find a recipe online from the Queen Mangchi. So we're gonna make her version of ganja bokum, which are potato and soy sauce side dish. Another one of Momo's favorites. So I'm excited to try. Oh my God. Okay, it needs a little longer, but the flavor is so good. I'm gonna lower the heat and let it simmer. I'd say probably like another five, 10 minutes. All right, now to finish some seeds on top, sesame seeds. It looks perfect. Okay guys, our potatoes are done. It smells incredible. Let's do a little taste test, shall we? I'm pretty sure they normally serve it cold at Korean barbecue places, but I'm sure it'd be good either way. Here we go. The flavor is so complex. It's like a little sweet, a little salty, kind of nutty from the sesame seeds. It's fantastic. I think I'm gonna start meal prepping these and having them throughout the week because it was so quick and easy. Mm. Please try making this. Now we're gonna make tteokbokki. So just like me, Jonghyun's favorite food is tteokbokki. I have quite a few recipes online of how to make tteokbokki with like frozen rice cakes, but we're gonna do it with the fresh ones today because we're not gonna let these go to waste and it comes together so quickly with the fresh ones. She also said one of her favorite foods was snails. I did try to find them, couldn't find them. A little relieved I'm eating tteokbokki instead of snails today though, I will say, I'll be honest. Now I already messed up because I let the onions Burn, but that's okay. Extra flavor. We're gonna add some water into my onions and garlic. Other than the rice cakes, my favorite part of tteokbokki is the hard boiled eggs. So I already cooked these and I'm putting them in ice water to wait until we're ready. Korean pepper paste, let it melt all in there. And using the fresh rice cakes makes it come together so much quicker. So this is a quick, easy meal. Adding in some gochugaru or Korean pepper flakes, a little sugar, sesame oil, soy sauce, and some sesame seeds for Good measure. And now we bring to a boil. Mmm, a little more sugar. Much better. Ooh, yes, okay. Come on, easy peel. Gonna add in our rice cakes. More sesame seeds on top. Taste test time. I'm so excited that my favorite girl likes one of my favorite foods. All rice cakes are good, all tteokbokki is good, but nothing beats fresh rice cake tteokbokki. Mm -hmm. Perfectly cooked, mm-hmm. Also, Cal asked me what I'm having for lunch and I told him I'm making tteokbokki and I'll make him some, so let's serve it up Cal style for him now. Obviously, we gotta add cheese. Time to blow torch. I'm gonna get my eyebrows. Mm-hmm. <gasps> yeah. Ooh, nothing better than some spicy cheese, yeah. The mm -hmm. fresh rice cakes, right? It so really good. elevates. Mm -hmm. Would you like some, my love? Yes, of course. It's gorgeous. Also try these potatoes, Cal. They're Momo's favorite. Mm. Yeah. They're good. 
And last but not least, we wanted Momo in the shot and then everybody else wanted to be in the shot as well. Momo said her favorite candy is called a Gabrichu, which is a Japanese candy that we could not source, but the next closest thing, Haichu. If you've never tried a Haichu before, you are missing out. The normal flavors, mango, grape, green apple, strawberry. If you go to like Hawaii or Asia, they have so many amazing flavors. But Momo said her favorite is grape, so we're gonna eat grape today. And they look like little Tootsie Rolls. I don't think I've ever had one before. What? Cheers. Cheers. Wow, you're in for a mind blowing experience, my friend. Mm. They're good. I almost forget how good they are. Rated right out of 10. Eight. Nine and a half. See you tomorrow. Hi guys, welcome to day five of eating like twice for the week. We're here today to try Choco Boys. Alicia's here. Wait, what is, I have no idea what it is. These were my staple growing up. When I would go to church as a kid, they would give us these along with these like seafood crackers, two different cups and a little Dixie cup. These are little chocolate mushrooms and they're delicious. I want one. So these are Diane's favorite. These were her supermarket go-tos as a kid. Sometimes the head and the body are separated and it makes her very sad, it's true. Diane recommends not just chewing, but letting them melt in your mouth. She loves the texture and this bitch is a texture I girl, that so that's shit. why she's here today. And they come in this cute little box and they come like this. Here, you can have your own pack. No, they're like little mini. So they're just like a pocky shrunken down into a mushroom shape. They've got like a little cracker and then the chocolate on top. Oh no, they <laughs> melted from the heat. It'll still taste so good. Oh All no. <laughs> just one giant. I mean, it's still gonna be good. delicious. Cheers. Oh my God. Oh. Really Oh my god, they're real, they're better than I even remember. You let your like saliva. The Here chocolate. we go. Here we go. What's <laughs> the, it taste like? The chocolate donut, like that rich chocolate mm. glaze. That's what it tastes like. Maybe because it's melted. Do you know what I mean? It's like the perfect sweet and salty combo. Yeah, I usually like bite the chocolate off or like lick it off and then eat the cracker and let my saliva melt it. But like either way, it all tastes good. I can't believe I haven't had this in like a whole life. It tastes more like a Twix to me, and Twix mm. is my favorite candy bar. So I'm literally gonna eat this whole thing. I'm gonna put this in the freezer and enjoy this after we finish recording. But check out Pretty Basic. Thank you for being in my taste. Literally any time. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to day six of eating like twice for the week. Today we are doing my second bias and that is Nyan. I'm extra, extra excited about these because I didn't even know these existed until this video. So these are her favorite snack. It's called Pushu Pushu. You guys saw at the store, they have a bunch of different flavors. I got the spicy rice cake flavor or bakboki and then I also got grilled chicken flavor. I would honestly put dried ramen as one of my like top five favorite snacks since I was a child. I remember in like second grade when everyone discovered that you could just take the dried like Sapporo Ichiban or the top ramen. And little did I know, they have like the snack version of them. So it says, don't boil it, smash it. Let's start with the grilled chicken. <gasps> oh, let's just eat one on its own. The flavor is so good. These I will say are like a lot thinner and crunchier than if you eat the ones that are made to be boiled as a snack. We're gonna take our flavor packet. Oh my God. It's sweet, it's salty. I'm gonna do the whole thing. Close her up and then yeah. My girl would have my favorite snack, I swear. Oh, they're coated perfectly. Mmm, it's a little spicy, like a kick of spice at the end. Garlicky, wheat, 10 out of 10. Let's try tteokbokki. It literally tastes like tteokbokki. This is crazy. Here's a good coated one. I love a flavor combo. I like spicy sweet, I like salty sweet, but I think I prefer this one because it's a little bit more complex. Mm-hmm. Perfect movie theater snack. I'm gonna bring this to the movies. 10 out of 10. I expect nothing less from Nyon. See you tomorrow. Hello guys, welcome to the final day of this video. We're on day seven of eating like twice for the week. And today we have saved quite possibly the best for last. Who Cal agrees is the best for last. Who's your bias, Cal? Uh, what a who? Jihyo. 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 Yeah. One time I made him watch a video and I said, who's your favorite? And you did point at her. So now she's your bias. Okay. We have Jihyo, which I'm so excited for. She did just drop a solo song. Song and it's so good. Five, six, seven, eight. Killing me, killing me, good. But she's iconic, and while we were looking up, trying to find what her favorite food is, she didn't really give us much to work with. All she said was meat and not vegetables. She's your favorite still, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> so tonight, we're gonna eat meat, very minimal vegetables. This is by no means a Korean recipe. I just wanted to try something that I wanted to make for a long time with meat. So we're gonna make Big Mac tacos. It doesn't get more meat than Big Mac. These went viral on TikTok, by the way, if you didn't see. I made some Big Mac sauce, and in here, I just mixed together some ketchup, mayo, some Dijon mustard, and then my favorite pickles, which are bread and butter chip pickles. Chopped them up really fine. That's our Big Mac sauce. I also have, of course, some lettuce. We've got some raw onion to put on top because what else comes in a Big Mac? Sauce, cheese, meat, lettuce, and onion. And that's it. So let me get the other stuff. From what I've gathered on TikTok, we take our 
tortillas. We take some ground beef and then we boom, right on the tortilla. And we press it so it's nice and flat and covers the whole thing. Boom, look at that. Meat taco. Maybe it's not supposed to be that thick, but she said she likes meat. And we have the perfect amount of meat for the amount of tortillas that we have. Jihyo would be proud of us. Now we cook. All right, spraying the pan with some oil. Throw her. Woo, right on. And I forgot to season, so I'll season the other ones when I flip it. I also finally got a burger press. Pressing them down. All right, those for some reason were harder to cook than I had initially anticipated. Are you guys all steamy now? We've got our tortillas with our meat. Sauce, of course. Raw onion. I like extra onion on mine. And then some lettuce. You could do iceberg, but I had butter lettuce. And there we have our Big Mac tacos. I didn't do cheese on mine, but you can do cheese, obviously. Kind of like hard to fold because the meat is so thick. Here goes nothing. Mmm, it's good. I'll be honest, a regular Big Mac is better, but solid, seven out of 10. On that note, guys, that wraps up eating like twice for a week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys want to see me do more of these videos, let me know and I will see you in the next one. Bye!